Hi guys, welcome to my isolation vlog. Now, what am I doing obviously upset all by myself in a hotel room, you might ask? Well, we'd have to start two weeks earlier. You're here. What did I say? Did I say 18? First. Since I've become a mother, it's increasingly more difficult for me to travel on my own. I just worry leaving them behind. But I'm trying to tell myself, lift your spirits, this is what every mother dreams about, to finally have some time to yourself. And hey, look, I'm not shabby for a pandemic souvenir. And finally, I have arrived in Manila, and if those two guys in their military outfit aren't giving away the fact that I'm traveling during a pandemic, then the close duty-free what <laughs> surely does. So I've just arrived at my room and finally, after how many hours, oh my goodness, I look worse for wear. All right, let me wash my hands and then I'll show you around. Let's start the obligatory room tour, shall we? But first of all, let me say a big thank you to the hotel staff. I really appreciate this personal touch. This little message makes me feel right at home. The room is pretty much self-explanatory. The reason I'm showing you in such great detail is because this technically will be my isolation cell for the next two weeks and I won't have any contact with a single soul and I won't leave these rooms a single time. But as soon as I saw this bathtub, it might look familiar to you if you follow me on Instagram, I knew I was gonna get a lot of content out of it. Let's have a quick look at the view while I'll tell you how I will be receiving my food during my stay here, which of course will be contactless. I should be receiving my food in front of my door left there for me every day, but my first dinner should already, yes, be in the fridge. And whilst we're in the kitchen, let me give you a lay of the land. Here's where you enter the water dispenser, the fridge, washing machine, microwave, the sink, cooker and water cooker, all very important if you're isolating by yourself. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is my uniform for the next 14 days. Yes, very cozy. And so far, so good. I have arrived and I'm getting comfortable. Every morning in isolation starts the same for me by picking up my breakfast from in front of the door. Going into this isolation, I had a plan. I was going to keep busy. I called every friend I had in Manila. I chatted all day long. I enjoyed my quiet moments that I never get as a mom back home. I wrote in my diary, watched TV, did face masks. I had stuff delivered to my room. I had weights delivered. I worked out. I did yoga. I meditated. Again, if you're following me on Instagram, then you've witnessed and seen all of this happening in real time. I tried to fight my jet lag by by looking at my surroundings, I especially rejoiced by seeing this patch of green in the distance. And I did what everyone would do. I watched a lot, a lot, a lot of Netflix. And somewhat around the halftime mark, I ran out of things to do. Thank you. 
You wanna know something funny? I left Vienna in the middle of winter, it was freezing, and yes, we were also in the middle of our third lockdown. And I traveled all the way to these tropical islands. And this is the closest I'll get to the ocean. Do you see those buildings down there? Those used to be our MTV offices and studios whilst I was working as an MTV VJ. And that terrace belongs to one of my favorite restaurants. They have such a good pasta dish. To be honest with you, right about now, I'm starting to lose interest. Yep, in almost everything, even in food. I used to dream having that much uninterrupted time to myself. I'm very comfortable on my own. And I understood that going into isolation, that was a challenge. And so I made a plan, I came prepared. I was going to fill each of my isolation days with purpose, but not adding value to anyone else's day, be it friend, family or community, made me feel like my actions in those 14 days inside that room didn't matter. And even though I understood that that wasn't true, Emotionally, I still felt very cut off from the world. Isolation definitely is nothing to be underestimated. I'm descending from, from the low knees to the palm, from straight to slowly turn to your left.